Welcome to Weld.com. A lot of you have been asking me about doing a low hydrogen route on plate, pipe, whatever. It's the same. I mean, you know. Uh, I'm going to go back over to um, the stick side on the ESAB 235 Rebel. So I want to do part of this on probably 3 8 or half inch plate. Haven't decided yet. And then I want to grab some, uh, probably some 6 inch pipe and I'll get those cleaned up. And there's going to be a couple of questions for you viewers as we get going. And it has to do with uh, the weld procedure itself. So uh, let me get some, uh, let me get dressed, let me get my safety gear on and I'll be right back. Ready to burn here. I've got a piece of half inch plate beveled up. ESAB Rebel 235, 85 amps, 332nd low hydrogen electrode. Going to be running vertical up. Not vertical down, vertical up. Got one exception here. Change the polarity to DCEN. Last thing I want to do is blow a keyhole in this thing. Not like we would do with a 6010 or 7010 or 8010 or whatever material we're working on. See, I don't, <clears throat> I got to explain something to you. This was never in my repertoire of work for code work and stuff. All of my stuff was always done with a 6010 or 7010 in, in refinery piping. Of course, my cross country pipeline stuff was all downhill. But again, we just, we, we didn't do this as a procedure. I don't know who calls for it in a procedure. I, I mean, if this is something that, that we do constantly, then yeah. Uh, you know, let's do it. I've just never, you know, to me it goes against the rod manufacturer's spec because you should be running this on either alternating current or DCEP. Okay, the reason I'm running it on EN is because I don't want to blow a, a cavity in the back side. I mean, I'm trying to get 100% reinforcement on the back side and blow through and create a root on the back side. It, this can easily get away from you. It's way too fluid of a pool and it doesn't freeze fast enough. You know, if we're, if we're welding an uneven gap and we're going uphill, we have a chance of stitching and manipulating the rod a little bit. Uh, you know, there's some techniques that we can do. With this, about the only thing I can do is weave side to side to cool the pool off. So, you know, to me when I'm doing this, it's like everything has got to be set really, really good. So hopefully this goes well. And this is to satisfy a viewer comment, something about running on 7018 roots. I believe they might want it on pipe. We'll do another one on pipe as well. So here we go. Okay, right away you should have been able to hear a, a difference. It's this snapping sound. See, I can hear this clear across the shop when somebody has a machine, machine set to straight polarity on 7018. All right, I, uh, I ran this route in here. Now, if I was doing this for a test or something, I would do runoff tabs. You can tell it got, it took me a quarter inch or so to get into this, a little weak in here. And as I'm running this up, again, this is a fluid weld pool. And I'm really, I didn't hear it because I got the machine fan going right next to me, but I come up out of this and it had some decent slag peel. I got kind of excited, it's got a hole in it. Uh, you know, this is one of the reasons that I don't do this. Again, this is, I just never had to get into 7018 roots. To me, they're so much slower. I mean, you're running the rod in there and it runs about the same, but 
since I grew up on 6010, 7010, 8010, and I learned how to do roots and tricks and techniques with a fast freeze electrode, I, I stayed away from this. They're doable, you know. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I don't, I don't particularly care for them, and that's just my personal preference. But anyway, uh, you know, a couple things that I have noticed of people that do do them. If you make a mistake, and let's say that you blow through or something, you leave a, a little growth on the back side here. Now you got to come back and fix that. Okay, so you grind it out, and now you got wider than your original fit and you're running a 7018 or a low hydrogen electrode, how are you gonna start making these repairs? To me, it just kind of gets away from you. You know, that's, that's why I prefer the fast freeze electrodes. You can stick it in there, you can adjust your amperage a little bit in technique, you can stitch. If you get in trouble and it starts to blow up on you, you can keyhole it and, and make the weld pool freeze and keep going. Anyway, I, you know, I own up to it, but I got a, I left a hole, I got a hole in my root. Um, you know, if I had to fix that from the front side, I'd have to go in here and know where that's at. If that was on a piece of pipe and I didn't know and I couldn't see it, you know, that would be one thing. I'd have to go in here and grind this out real thin and probably multiple attempts versus if I had to fix it and I was using a 6010 electrode, then I could run a 332 or even an eighth inch and I could grind it thin, purposely blow it up you know, and know that I got through to the backside and keep on stitching and make sure that I got it fused. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna experiment with some more with this. I'm gonna run some more, I'm gonna switch polarities and experiment with it again. Uh, I've had better luck doing this with the DCEN, but again, I'm not, you know, this is not something that I normally do. And even if I owned a job and was setting up the procedures and writing some stuff for some code on on popping. I, I wouldn't consider this. I, I just don't. I don't know why I have people do it. Probably because I haven't been around it, you know, where it's required. So I don't, I don't understand why it's required. To me, it's just way faster to do 6010, 7010, whatever the material, 8010, um, you know. It's too fluid of a pool, I'm thinking, you know. You get, you know, there maybe porosity, uh, I, I just, I don't know, something about running this route that it just doesn't agree with me. But if that's what you're into, uh, that's one way to set it up, the spacing. Anyway, I hope this helps. I hope that answered the viewer question. Uh, appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. Thank you. Got a hole. Chickapoo, chickapoo.